everybody, I'm Kat Greenleaf, host of PIX11's series, Women at the Wheel, proudly sponsored by Ford. Today you're going to meet a tenacious aviator and rescue pilot with the New York Police Department. Laura Zibkowski took one ride on a chopper years ago and was instantly smitten. She merged her love of the open skies with her goal of helping people and found a unique career where she gets to do both. Laura reminds us that if you've got a dream, the only thing left to do is have the courage to go out and pursue it. This is her story. I am afraid of heights. It is not the same. I could fly all day at 2,000 feet, but ask me to climb a 10-foot ladder and it terrifies me. Hi, I'm police officer Laura Zipkowski, and I'm a pilot with the NYPD. So my shift is from 10.30 to 7 a.m. It's definitely a different perspective. Uh, there's a calmness that you could actually see and feel. That's beautiful. Laura is no stranger to the city that never sleeps. She was born and raised in Suffolk County, Long Island. Growing up, she didn't have a clear path for what she wanted to be when she was older. I was right out of high school. I needed to go to college, and I didn't know what to do with myself. I needed a career, and I knew I wanted to help people in some way. She got her start in aviation in a unique way, a spontaneous helicopter ride while on vacation in sunny California. It was a half-hour flight that I paid for. They flew me around the city, and ever since then, I knew I wanted to be a pilot. Laura decided to go to school on the West Coast to pursue her newfound love of flying. Still, she knew she wanted to help people and after a few years applied for a position back home as a New York City police officer. Right after I came out of the academy, I showed up in the aviation unit, said hi to everyone and let them know who I was. I dropped off an application. I knew it was premature, but I just wanted to get my name out there. So every year after that, I kept coming down, doing the same thing, saying hello to everyone, dropping off a new application, updated. Uh, with my new flight hours, and eventually they gave me the call to come down. It took her five years, but Laura's relentless drive eventually got her a position with the Specialized Aviation Unit of the NYPD. This advanced air and sea rescue team responds to distress calls within a 60-mile radius of New York City. There's different types of calls that we respond to. Uh, the most common are just searching for perpetrators. They just committed a crime, they're running away, they're hiding, and they need help looking for them. It could be searching for missing children and missing elderly, but we also do other jobs. Uh, we'll assist FD if there's fires in commercial buildings or residential buildings. We'll take a fire chief up with us and we could help them assess the situation. If I'm assigned to the air-sea rescue aircraft, we handle any emergency that happens over the waterway. So it could be a, a boat sinking or a person drowning or a person missing in the water. Now, in her 12 years working with the NYPD, Laura says that this mission stood out to her most. In September 2014, two friends went for an evening jet ski ride off the coast of Staten Island. They hit choppy water, losing control of their jet skis, and were forced to swim to safety on nearby land. The families were worried. They were calling us up, asking if we could help search the water for them. Laura was one of the first NYPD rescuers to help find the two men and usher them to safety. This whole job is very rewarding in its own way, but something like that, it just reminds me of, this is why I chose to do this. This is why I came on the job, to help people like that. Today, she's proud to be a part of the 50 trained pilots and mechanics working in the Specialized Aviation Unit. But currently, Laura is the only woman on the team. It's a little intimidating being the face of females and women everywhere, but I honestly don't see myself as the female pilot here because we all work as a team. We're all cops and we all just come in and do our job and we all love what we do, so we treat each other the same. And she has this message for women dreaming of a career in aviation. To anyone out there that if there's something you want to do and you set your mind to it, just go for it. Don't let anyone tell you you can't. Uh, don't let anything get in your way and if you work hard for it, you can do it. Thanks for listening to Laura's story. Talk about a real life superhero. To learn more about Laura Zibkowski, visit pix11.com slash women at the wheel. I'm Kat Greenleaf and thank you so much for watching. Women at the Wheel has been proudly sponsored by Ford. See your local Ford store or visit buyfordnow.com for more information.